the movie is set in the year 2070. Many great scientists are troubled because of the risk of a severe worldwide drought as a result of scarcity of water. To get ready for such a situation ahead of time, a group of researchers are deployed to the Balhae Research Station on the moon. Their first experiment is carried out on a fish inside a tank. They expose the fish to a few drops of a mysterious liquid with a similarity with water. At first, the liquid causes the fish to suffocate, but then the molecules multiply, forming more water and eventually filling up the tank. In short, the fish managed to create an environment of survival on its own because of the mysterious liquid. Despite the first experiment going successfully, something strange causes the station to close down not long after, and the base becomes oblivious. Five years later, in 2075, the forecast becomes a true reality, and the world is shocked with a critical worldwide water shortage. It has resulted in an all-time infant mortality rate as a result of various infections and diseases that came about by the consumption of contaminated water. The government as well as private citizens in the South are actively making investments in mega vertical farms in hopes of reducing water usage. Moreover, the public has been divided by the government into separate groups and the water which each group gets is of different quality and quantity depending on the importance of the group to the survival of humans. As expected, the scheme is not popular with a greater percentage of the general public as they are now deprived of clean water. We are introduced to a Korean space agency named SAA. The agency, led by Director Choi, is making plans to send a crew to the Raleigh Lunar Research Station. This is the same research station that was abandoned on the moon where the fish experiment was carried out. The station conceals many secrets of the government, some of which may even solve the water problems on Earth. In the crew were nine members, all led by Captain Han, a soldier for the space agency. The mission is especially dangerous because in the last research, 117 crew members all died in the base. They are told that the deaths were caused as a result of a leak of radiation, but Dr. Song does not want to buy the idea. For the mission, Choi has roped in Dr. Song, an astrobiologist. She initially turned down the mission, but later had her mind changed for the sake of finding out the truth about her late sister, who also lost her life in the Balhae accident five years ago. As a reward, Dr. Song is given a lifetime gold membership, which gives her unlimited access to safe and clean drinking water. Director Choi gives the crew members a briefing about the mission. It turns out that they were able to retrieve at least one capsule of a research sample from the station on the moon. However, the information on what the samples consist of is supposedly lost and unknown. All they are aware of is that the samples must be kept at a regulated low temperature range. Dr. Song suspects that the SAA is hoarding information about the parcel's content on purpose, but still decides to go on the mission. On the day of takeoff, the main pilot is replaced by a pilot named Gisu. The crew is not pleased with the last minute change, but Captain Han orders everyone to let that be. The spacecraft takes off and safely enters the Earth, and later the moon's orbit. However, during landing, it malfunctions and they crash on the surface of the moon, about 7.6 kilometers northeast of their destination. The spacecraft of the mission falls off a cliff and the surviving crew is forced to travel on foot to the station. A former researcher at the Balhae station named Wong has sustained serious injury and he stops halfway through the journey as he couldn't continue. Since he has been to the station before for research, he seems to know something that the others don't. He tries to pass a message to the crew, but ends up passing away, dealing a serious blow to the crew's morale. Nevertheless, they continue their journey and almost run out of oxygen. When they arrive at their destination at Balhae Station, they desperately fill their oxygen tanks and manage to survive. The series then flashes back to the past and Dr. Song is seen trying to find out the truth about the death of her sister. She opens an encrypted file from her sister's workstation, trying to find out what she was working on at the lunar station. Eventually, she cracks the code and a message pops up on the screen, reading, Find Luna. And back to the present. The crew comes across an old corpse that has physical signs similar to that of drowning. 
They all become confused because they do not believe there could possibly be enough water on the moon for a person to drown and die. The crew is not able to find the identity of the dead body from their database and are puzzled to see an automatic weapon in the corpse's possession, suggesting that he was a mercenary. Moreover, all the systems of the station are functional, and the station lacks the dangerous radiation that had allegedly wiped out the staff five years ago. With this, Dr. Song's belief that SAA is keeping them in the dark becomes even stronger, and she suggests performing an autopsy of the corpse. But Captain Han orders everyone to stick to the plan and go in search of the command center instead. They eventually locate the center and bring the massive facility back to life. However, the communication system is down and the crew is not able to contact the mission control. The radiation levels in the control room look normal, contradictory to what they had been told by the mission control. Dr. Song boldly takes her life support off to prove that they are not surrounded by high levels of radiation, and then everyone follows her lead. She again suggests performing a full inspection of the station, but she is reminded by Han that it is not their job to investigate the cause of the Balhae accident. They are here to retrieve the samples, which is their first and only priority. There are three storages in the facility where the samples could possibly be found, so the crew splits up into teams and conducts a thorough search of the station for viable samples. A member of the crew named Dr. Hong, a soldier, E2, and the captain head for storage 1. Taesuk, Soon, Su Chan, E1 are sent to storage 2. Meanwhile, Chief Gong, Dr. Song, and Gisu go to storage 3. Dr. Song tells the crew that as soon as they find the capsule, they must check the thermoregulator to make sure that it's an extremely low temperature. On the way to storage 3, Gisu reveals that Captain Han returned back from retirement on this mission for a special purpose. He wants to get his sick daughter access to a higher class of water. It turns out that after the great drought, one in every ten children dies. Meanwhile, Team 1 comes across a jammed gate. When they force the gate open, they come across a number of corpses, making the team frightened. A quick evaluation of the situation revealed that the victims were desperately trying to make it out and the area was shut down in an emergency right after the accident. The situation contradicts what the government reported, which stated that the victims died way before the shutdown. Dr. Song remotely observes the bodies from her wrist computer and comments on their characteristics of the drowned bodies. She insists on checking the infirmary to access their medical records, and Han turns her down rudely, telling her to take her mind off of her personal curiosity. The first and second group eventually reach their respective destinations, but the visible capsules are empty or missing, and the storage units look as if someone already ransacked the place for the samples. In the meantime, Team 3 detects a foreign presence moving all about the station. When the head of security, Gong, goes around to inspect, Gisu informs Dr. Song that he knows about her sister and empathizes with her. He also reveals that if she wishes to check the infirmary to get to the bottom of the truth, he would cover for her. After a brief pause, Dr. Song decides to utilize the opportunity. Well, if you want to know what happened later, do well to watch the second part of this video on this channel.